Hi and welcome back to another Thrift With Me video. I am headed in to check to see if they have anything that I could do a thrift flip for uh, Halloween. And I'm hoping to do a vintage Halloween decor video coming up. So I'm looking for something really cool to do. So let's get in and see what they have. Just as I pass the clothing, I always see these pieces of furniture and I thought I would share what they had at the time. So as I pass the furniture, I go straight to the back here. I've learned to do that because people pick up things quickly back here that are super cool. And I came across this. This is really cool on its own, this train uh, picture. I thought it would be a cool thing to do a thrift flip and do something different with, but I ended up putting it back because I thought, I have no wall space. Where am I going to put it? And I'll end up giving it back anyway. So I just, I didn't want to deal with that. And then here are some of the baskets. Now that shelf up there, I should have probably thought about that for my, above my coffee nook that I'm going to be eventually changing. Um, and then this bamboo uh, tray was like three bucks. So I ended up putting that back. It wasn't that great a shape either. These were interesting. They're just like high end type boxes and I'm not sure what they were for. And then that sign, Paris sign, I'll show you more about that later. So here in the vases, they didn't have very many high-end vases, I guess. They were all like um, florist pieces or the vintage clear glass that really wasn't anything special. Um, there were a couple of interesting pots like this gray pot there was pretty interesting it, it was heavy it felt like stone but there was some water damage on it so I didn't want to paint it because it was already a pretty color and I didn't want to have to try to get the damage off this one was a flash paint and it was really pretty but it was flashed so then just still kind of looking and hoping to get that super cool thing and I was looking at these these were pretty interesting I did put them in my cart for a minute but clear glass like that doesn't sell very well but they were really pretty and then I didn't see the little rooster on the left side there see him I didn't even see that I'm like what the heck how could I not see that? I was so focused on all this other stuff. That was a newer piece, but still cute. And now I'm sad I didn't look at that rooster. So then I went down further and there's the metal part, bigger metal pieces, and this was there. And I'm like, that is so gorgeous. So I picked that up for myself. And they did have a few interesting things. Um, but just stuff that I don't need on here like that I'm not sure I think that went to some kind of a vintage tray and that was like a tin it wasn't a real silver tray but you know some days I just get in the mood where I'm not gonna dig and so I didn't really dig <laughs> and some days I should because they probably had some really good stuff but just all kinds of, like I always say this is spaghetti aisle because it's always just like a bunch of metal and you don't, you can't tell what it is until you pull it all out. So it's a little difficult to see. Comment below and let me know if you see anything in here that you would have hurried and grabbed right away. And let me know if you go digging through the metal or if you just bypass it altogether. This I thought was interesting, this coat rack, and it looks like maybe late 80s, early 90s style, but I thought it was pretty cool. I wouldn't have it for myself, but it was pretty neat. Then I saw this beveled mirror, and I thought it was antique, but it looks like a bathroom mirror that someone had on their wall, and it doesn't look very old now that I looked at it. I just want to take a moment to let you know how excited I am that I'm able to offer a channel membership now. I have been accepted to the YouTube Partnership Program and I will have a link to a video explaining all of the benefits that you will receive for that 
in my description box. So please come support me and I hope that you will join my channel and let's have some fun together. So let's get back to the video. Then we're back inside and I'm in the trinket section and hiding behind this little thing here is this Santa. He's from the 50s, maybe early 60s, but he is one of my most favorite ones that I've been looking for and I'm so happy to find him in the wild instead of paying a hundred and something dollars for him. And he is so adorable, so I'm going to sit him out all year long. <laughs> he makes me smile. And so after that I was like, oh, let's just go home because I'm done. <laughs> but I did find that little kitty. It's an Avon glass kitty but it was the color of the glass had changed and looked dirty plus they don't sell for very much but I think I used to have one when I was in junior high <laughs> and then this here is a crystal like a bud vase and made into a heart it was really pretty and I thought I could try to get that water um, damage out of there or where I should say and it was worth 75 cents to try it that was a really pretty thing it's um looks like a, a homemade candlestick but I couldn't find another one but I still ended up getting it so then just looking through the candles there wasn't a ton of really cool things um, but I'm still trying to find that glassy baby. I don't know if I'm going to find it in our local thrift store here, but you never know. It might be someone who moved here from out of state or another place and ended up giving away their stuff. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm just kind of looking through and trying to find that vintage piece. And that was interesting, but it wasn't very cute. So a little further down the aisle here, I found this cute bunny planter. Of course, it's vintage. And I can't remember what it says, but it's a name I haven't seen before. And it still had the tag on. So you know I picked that up. Then I saw these uh, vintage uh, ornaments. They were all wood and some were broken. And they just didn't, I don't know, nothing really caught my eye in there. They may have been something special, but uh, it didn't look like it. And then they had a lot of newer things from Walmart and um, I mean if you want to try to find stuff to decorate your tree wow there was a ton of stuff there for you that was pretty cute candle and I look for vintage things so not newer and this leg was interesting if I had three more of them that would make a really cool thrift flip for me but there was only one and that I could not tell what that was for. Let me know if you know what that's for. <laughs> of course, a rubber band gun. There's always one. And I do not know what that was. Like some kind of toy. But the wood section was kind of, I don't know, it was a little boring this, sec this time around. And so I left. <laughs> And so then I'm over in the kitchen aisle and there were these salt and pepper shakers and I thought I might get them, but I ended up putting them back. This looked vintage and I picked it up and thought it might be. I look at the bottom and it's a newer brand, um, Casual Living. So, and then later on I see some, some cups that would have went with it, but no saucers. Um, so I ended up not getting that one. And there were these salt and pepper shakers. These are actually crystal, and I think I paid a dollar for them. So I ended up getting those. And I was checking out all the salt and pepper shakers, and there's some really weird ones, like the froggies here. <laughs> and, you know, I saw that tray up there, and I should have looked at it at least. I don't know what I was thinking. But again, I wasn't in the mood to dig, so, you know. <laughs> These look newer because there were two of them down below there. You could see the other one and they didn't look very high quality. Now these might have been really cool for a bar. Those were really heavy too and they were two boxes of brand new ones. 
and just looking at the bulls and I should have looked at those pots down there but I'm trying to get away from all that because it's not selling very well the like corning wire and that type of uh, Pyrex kind of uh, casserole dishes because I have two that have been sitting for like six months not selling those are kind of interesting soup bowls with little lions on them but they were newer and more salt and pepper shakers but really this trip this stuff this kind of stuff wasn't really you know a lot of neat things now that is vintage and it, it is a cool one but I have one similar and it may have been Waterford I don't know I didn't even look I didn't even think to look but when looking it up after I got home it is only a I mean it is crystal and it's made in France but it only goes for about 25 to 30 and there were none sold on eBay so I made a good decision so now we're in the glass section and these glasses there were super pretty these here too these are vintage and I wasn't sure if they were vintage or made to look vintage because they looked pretty new and looking in what they didn't sell for very much and I always check the clear glass because you never know what you might find hidden inside somewhere and there might be that gem that's clear that's worth something and heading out of the store I came across this and it looks like a, someone made this lamp out of a soup tureen and tray because it looked like it came apart and the, the spoon was wiggling in that so I thought it was cool and had to show you I wouldn't buy it but I had to show you <laughs> Okay, I'm back and I got a ton of super cool items. So stay tuned and I'm going to go through each and every one of these. Okay, first up are these Stamp It Up little punch, paper punches. And I believe that's Stamp It Up as well. Yep, it's uh, silver ink that hasn't been used I hope it's not dried out but I only paid 75 cents so it was worth the, the chance and then this cute Christmas tree stamp was sitting all by itself I don't know what brand that is but I had to get it and I think I paid 50 cents and then this roller has strawberries on it if you can tell let me turn it over kinda I think strawberries I could be wrong. <laughs> I hope it's strawberries because that's why I got it. But I paid a dollar for that. So I thought those were great deals. Even if I don't keep them, I could resell them. Next up are these old books. And I love old, well, I love Bibles. This one isn't old, but look at this leather cover. And with the Celtic is that how you say it? Celtic cross and it's just so pretty and I paid a dollar for it so I had to get that now this is Leonardo da Vinci old book and where's the copyright it says 1938 now I don't know if that's your original copyright and then this is a copy of that but that's what it says it says 1938 first edition in November so I think this is a, a really good find I just loved how it looked because I loved it to, to decorate with old books and it just has that look to it I just love it so well I haven't even looked it up I paid two dollars for that one so we'll see what that one's worth. Then there's this old, looks like it's, um, let me show you here. Anderson's Fairy Tales. And this one's really old too. I don't think it's as old as that because I could not find for the life of me the date on this one for some reason. And I'm not sure why but look it's you know it's old it just won't show me a date 
maybe back here somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. But I love the look of it. I thought it'd be cute at Christmas time just to sit out and have things on it. And I paid a dollar. Then there's this one, it's a Webster's book. And there is some damage, but I like, like I said, I like to decorate with them. This will be perfect at Christmas time for my vintage uh, entryway. And it's a shorter school di dictionary. And again, oh, here we go, copyright 1914 for this dictionary. And it has all the words from 1914, so I'm gonna have to check that one out. Oh, I didn't know that one was ripped. But it's still beautiful. I just love old books. And when they throw them away, it really bothers me because they're so cool. Then there's this piece. I don't know what it went to or what it was in its previous life, but I always pick up odds and ends, like you know, for my thrift flip stuff. So we'll see what I use this for in the future. I paid a dollar for it. And this top comes off, so I might even use them separately. I don't know. But I had to grab it just in case. <laughs> then there's this wood house, and it has a hole on the bottom. It says 2008. I paid a dollar, and I think it, it's like some kind of collection thing that is supposed to sit up on something. I don't know. What do you think? There's no holes for like a tea light or anything, so I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments what you think, because I don't know what that is. There was this heart. It looks like a, a bud vase because they had water in it, and I'm sure I can get that out with a, a bottle brush and some vinegar. But it, I paid a dollar. I don't know if it's marked because I didn't look under there yet, but it's pretty heavy and I think it might be crystal. So I took a chance and just thought I might get it and then possibly resell it. But it's really cute for a bud vase for Valentine's Day or anniversary. Then there's these beautiful glasses. And when I looked them up, it said um, similar ones were Waterford. But I know that these aren't Waterford. But um, they're light. They're, so they're glass. They're not crystal. Yeah, they're glass, but they do glow. So they're uranium or a portion of uranium in them. And I know they're old and I paid a dollar a piece for them. So I'll be listing those on my Etsy or my eBay. So this is why I bought these glasses, even though there was only three, because they have that glowing uranium glass in them. So that's the reason why I got them. So that makes them worth more than just regular glass. And this is just a pottery style pitcher. I think it says Taiwan on the bottom and it's a dollar fifty I paid for it. And I want to transform this into one of those kind of crockery things that I did with the pumpkin one. So I don't know yet if that's what I'm going to do or if I'm going to put some kind of a crockery look on the front um, that says something and try to resell it. Then there were these salt and pepper shakers and I think they're crystal because they're pretty heavy and they were in this bag and they have the silver top to them and oh I didn't realize that but a little tiny chip there. I didn't see it through the bag. Of course that's how they get you I guess but I'm not sure if it's real crystal or if it's just heavy glass, but I know they're vit vintage, so I grabbed them for a dollar. So then I was looking for Halloween, and of course some lady was like digging through and in, in front of me, and I, and she like pulled a ton of stuff out. So I don't know what she got that I might have missed, but I did grab these. I thought these would be cute. You could make candles out of these, or you could just do the clay things and sit them out. But there were three of them, and I thought, why do I need three? I can just use, reuse one. So I got that for, you know, some kind of craft. And then these were really neat looking. So, oh, he's falling off. And one looks like the body's broken, but we got, oh, no, his head fell off. <laughs> well, that's not good. We need to glue you back on. 
but I only paid, I think, a dollar. No, 75 cents. So I thought those would be cute just to sit somewhere and take the, the uh, twine off and just sit somewhere in my Halloween decor. And this, I was looking, I have one, but it's bigger, and I was looking for one this size, and that looks like this for a craft that I'm doing with some air dry clay. So this is gonna be perfect for that. So you wanna make sure to tune in for that video. I thought it was cool. Then I saw this and I knew it was some kind of a press. And I think it says Taiwan. Yep, Taiwan. So I know it's old and it's a bacon press. So I thought that one was pretty cool. I do have one similar already, so I'm probably gonna end up uh, putting this one on Etsy or eBay. Paid $2 for this one. Then I saw this, I knew it was old when I saw it. It's just so cute, cute little bunny. And it's a little planter. And this one is, hold on. Okay, it says styled by Stafford Japan, so I'm not sure about that one. I haven't seen that one before, but it's an old mark, you can tell. And I paid a dollar fifty, and it's just so adorable. And there's no chips on it or anything, and it looks like it used to have a, a original sticker on the front. So cute. Then I found this beautiful handmade um, ceramic candle holder. I paid 75 cents for it, but it's super cute with the uh, cute little snowflakes. And on here, you can't really see it. I could barely see it. I think it says 1992 and then their initials. So someone made it in 92, but I thought it was so cute. And I always use just singletons here and there in my Christmas decor anyway, so I love it. Then you won't believe what I found. First thing I picked up in my cart was this gentleman. Actually, I think it's the second thing. But I have been wanting one with the popcorn stuff on him forever. And I've been seeing them on uh, House on Noble where she gets them a lot of times from different uh, vendors and sells them on her eBay. And they are worth a lot of money. And I paid fifty for this one and it's a bank. Look how cute. It's a bank and it's missing the bottom which I could care less and there's a tag underneath that that says the name but I I don't know what that is yet until I carefully pull the thrift tag off. But look at him. The only thing I could see is that he's worn right here and maybe a couple other places but he's perfect. Look how perfect he is. I love him. So he, of course, is going into my own collection because I've been wishing for one forever. <laughs> so then I found this primitive looking thing. I don't know what it is. It's all wood with a metal post in it. It has the little house on top and the heart and this wood base. But I want to take it apart and use the wood base for something else, possibly a flag at um, 4th of July time or, you know, just anything else and then reuse these for other things. Because I can always paint this for Christmas or do a Halloween thing, but I wanted it to take it apart. And I paid $1.50 for that. Then I found this Paris sign and it's all metal and has that chain on it to hang and I thought this would be really cool to paint it similar color and make it into a Halloween kind of sign that says like something spooky or something I don't know I thought that was pretty cool for Halloween oh how much did I pay oh that one I paid two dollars for and it does need some work with the little screws on the back but once I get it done, it's going to look super cute. I saw this basket, and it's just a cute shape. And I think what I'm going to do is possibly put one of those clay pumpkins on the front right here and paint it 
and then it's got some damage I think up here somewhere there we go and then retwine that and paint over the twine so that it looks universal um, and use it for fall it's a dollar fifty I paid for that but I could do it for you know Christmas is coming and I have some ideas with some molds for that so who knows what I'll end up doing but it's a, definitely a thrift flip item then I was looking in the games and I thought this would be a fun one to play with hubby and you know when we're bored and sick of TV so I thought I would grab it I paid I think it was three dollars for it and I've never heard of it but I looked online and they go for like anywhere from 40 to 60 dollars on eBay and everything looks almost new like they barely played it so that one's still got the packaging in it and everything's in there so if we don't play it I can always sell it I thought it was pretty cool so I'm always looking for organizational things for my storage of my resale items and how it has like the tiered thing so that I can see what I have on my my smalls because there's a lot of like those uh, salt and pepper shakers or small little figurines and this will help me so I can see what everything is or I can even use it like it's supposed to be used in your spice cupboard and that might even help us out too but it might be a little big for that but that's the main reason was to get it for my storage unit and I paid a dollar fifty for it and these are can be pretty pricey on Amazon then I found this I thought it was really cool looking with the metal base and the wood and you can use it on your kitchen table or um, coffee area and just put whatever on it and decorate I just thought that was really cute I don't have a lot of this kind of stuff so I think that one might even go on my coffee nook once I get that all finished someday <laughs> lastly is this uh, cookbook holder it's all metal oh come on get out of there and these are heavy metal bar or balls to hold the book open the page open and these are so cute look at that it looks like mid-century and just super cute and I'm debating on keeping it or selling it but they do go for quite a bit I think one sold on Etsy for 50 but I haven't really priced it out enough to know but then I only paid two dollars for it so I really like it and I thought it was worth picking up and possibly sell it or keep it you never know <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you enjoyed the items that I picked up because these items were super special to me. And please make sure to watch my next video for the Halloween one and see how that turned out and keep looking out for my how I styled my thrifted items. And I hope to see more of you in all of my videos. If you have made it this far, I hope that you will consider to subscribe if you haven't already. And please comment and like my videos. I am trying to get monetized and that helps me out a lot. Thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful day.